Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, along with Dan Bell. Hey guys. Today, we're in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, Dan said we're going on an adventure. Where are we going to, Dan? Oh, that dark building over there. The with dark, the mysterious open. building. So doing a little bit of uh, Oh my God, I did it again. What'd you I, do? I put this on backwards again. What do you got there? I got the, my little setup here. But I keep putting the light on backwards. It's oh, so you put, go, the, you put the light on backwards so it like it's gotta it's go this. Yeah, because that's where the camera is. Yeah. Okay. I'm not vlogging here. This is a face for radio <laughs> or podcasting. Some people say that. Some people criticize me for showing my my face too much, but uh, well, we don't work nine to five. <laughs> All right. So today, yeah, we're doing some some exploring in, the, in yeah, some of the uh, old. Uh, Abandoned yeah, locations I do, here in Baltimore. I do these videos for my film it channel and go around town and uh, it's not really about uh, the residents, more about the history and these old buildings and uh, I, I love these old houses and stuff. Sometimes you'll go in and it'll be like filled with furniture and oh yeah, yeah. the old furniture and stuff. Um, I love that when I find that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't do I don't do too many abandoned visits anymore so this is exciting kind of getting back into the into the old saddle here of entering and terrifying <laughs> carpet baggers wearing pink, pink crocs pink crocs yeah dan was telling me this may not have been the best choice for entering these buildings <laughs> is this regulation uh no these are just fat people sneakers fat people they're, sneakers? they're, they're slip on so i don't have to bend over <laughs> yeah i don't know i wear crocs so much that like I don't even think to put on shoes. I mean they're comfortable. Just hopefully, you know, I don't know, you know, a needle could possibly go through the bottom. So I'll be a little careful. Possibly, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> it's they're basically the same as skin. So, <laughs> so possibly, it's just, it's just yeah. like walking barefoot. Possibly. Anyways, let's head into the uh, <laughs> this old yard building here. here. So like if you look around, all all of this at one time were, were homes. I mean they. You have these dead spots in Baltimore. This whole block here was torn down. They're tearing down everything. I don't know why they wait on a house like this. On the side of that house is all fireplaces. So these would have all been connected at one point and then they would tear, they tore down this in the middle. Exactly. And then this one strip exactly. here is standing up. This one building here with the, uh, the back door left open. I don't know if it was left open. <laughs> or it was forcibly so there's two things it may be that uh someone just ripped it open to go to the bathroom or get high or they were looking for copper copper is, yeah do you think we'll find any wonder, copper wonder, this is like back to the future uh, i got some vhs tapes there uh, i can't read the label anymore it's been it's been worn off over time. Amazing. I think those are some load bearing stairs there. I think we may be okay. All right. Man, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna wear a respirator. Yeah, that's creepy right there. The bottomless hole under the stairs. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty trashed in here. There's a cup of uh, mysterious red liquid. The ground really spongy. These spongy carpets. Yeah, it looks like it's been some, I don't know if this is like authorized demolition or maybe some freelance Demolition. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can see the toilet's been knocked over. I guess this would be the front door right here. I guess this would be a different apartment. Apartment 2 right there. We just were in apartment 1. You alright? It's not even worth it going on. It's not? Yeah, right, we'll, we'll go look on the steps. We'll take a little peek. Oh, wow. There is the refrigerator. Refrigerator there has been toppled. It's actually being held up by the... Uh, freezer door there I don't think we could I don't think we can go up to that to the, the next floor the, the stairs look like they are not no longer stable looks like yeah there's maybe some I see sunlight coming through so maybe there's like a collapse of the roof you see yeah just uh desolation there all right Back down the stairs. Oh, you see them now? The needles? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of needles right here. Luckily, they do look like they have their caps on. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a positive. This one's got something in it. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. There may be more needles yeah. scattered about there. What's going on? It says to jump off. God. This is the spot to jump off. That's some writing there. This is a weird. Some writing here. Just jump off, jump off. Interesting. Yeah, I noticed the uh, the needles when I was uh, standing on them. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get a rack of shit. From people on your channel by wearing Crocs into this place. Well, I will say this: if I can get into a building, it is structurally sound. Okay. <laughs> I think the third floor was off limits, though. Uh, yeah, the steps were pretty disintegrated. Yeah, so this is like the incision <clears throat> on which you remove copper from uh, an abandoned building. Oh, that copper! You got to get that sweet, sweet copper. That says Liberty Road, there's a bus stop. There's no way, I can't go up this alleyway. Look at it. Is this a bus stop back here in the alley? No, somebody took that sign and put it in there. Oh, okay. There. Okay, someone just stole that no, street. No, there's no way. There's yeah, a street sign there. Now, this is this house Liberty right Road. Here, this house right here would be excellent because I'm telling you right now, it's furnished inside. All right, we've come over here to Leakin Park. And uh, where I first heard of Leakin Park was the uh, the, uh, the the uh, podcast cereal. Oh yeah. Where they, they dump the, the and so yeah, it says no dumping there. But I guess Leakin Park known for the dumping of human remains. Is that correct? Um yeah. Uh, I mean on this this little stretch of road, the, these this road here is the last road that is wooded and very private where you can get away with shit yeah we were all just driving through the city very they busy have, they have shut down all the interior roads uh, uh, back here uh so oh so they've like they, they've closed down the smaller roads yes just to make less less uh appealing uh, to body dumpers well because people dump trash um it was mostly for trash but there people did dump I mean, they they found all kinds. Of, they bodies just on this road. I think uh, something like uh, 
probably 20 20 bodies on this like this that, little yeah. strip right here now when i did my down in the devil's well series the, the part two of that series uh i was here um and i had rented a truck because i had two guests with me and i down right down here i saw police tape and i said uh i was like what the hell's that and so i i stopped up here and i hiked down the hill and I see shotgun shells on the ground. Oh, jeez. And I was like, what the hell? And I start looking around, and then I see, uh, like, a mandible with teeth. Like, you know, like a oh, jaw. Oh, like a, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Not a mandible, a jawbone. Yeah, a jawbone. Um, and uh, it had black hair on it. I said, this is not an animal. These are human teeth. Oh, my god. And then I found, like, a piece of a skull. And, um, and the police had just like left this laying there? So I bring up a handful of these pieces and we put them in a box and we're looking at them. Wait, you bring up the, the jaw? I brought up the pieces that I found. Okay. It's in the doc if you watch the documentary. And uh, we put them in a box and I'm like, are these human or animal, whatever? There's a helicopter going back and forth overhead. And then the woman who was with us, when I used to do those Day with Dan things, and people would come here and hang out, or I'd give them a tour of the city. Um, uh, she goes, there's a cop walking down the road. And I looked behind me and I said, oh my God. And my immediate reaction was, I just disturbed a crime scene. <laughs> Like, because there was crime scene tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I just started the crime scene. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm in big trouble. And um, I walked up to the cop and I said, is, is that an active crime scene? He's like, no, it's an old crime scene. And I said, uh, I think I found some human bones down there. And he was like, really? And I said, yeah. And he came up and looked and he's like, yeah, those are human. Yup. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. And uh, so what it was, uh, what happened was, it was um, a younger guy. He had his laptop and um, a skateboard. And he took a shotgun down in the woods there. And sat by a tree and um, unalived himself. And he, his body was there for six or seven months oh, okay so no one knew and finally there was a big rainstorm and some guy was down there going through the creek with a metal detector and came across the skeleton um and this was in like fall i think when this happened when they found him but all these leaves had fallen on top of yeah him. So when the police came and it was nighttime, they didn't collect all the pieces. Oh, okay. They missed some pieces, and uh, I could I I could not understand how they left those shotgun shells there. But he 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 had a shotgun. That's how he Jeez. unalived himself. Um, and when they told me, I just thought, oh man, can you imagine? The, he's just coming down here on a skateboard. And yeah, super. Chooses super such sad. a chooses such a lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spot to 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 do that. I, I just can't imagine that how awful that would be. I just thought, you know, I'm like, like, what if you saw him on the road and you said, "Hey, buddy," and you know, yeah, let's go get a hamburger. Something could change his mind, you know. Yeah. But and I, I really feel like this park has like just bad energy. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, you see all these these um, enthusiasts who are like, "Oh, it's <laughs> it's a giant. They're woods right in the middle of Baltimore." I'm like, people want it, that like people have camped here before. I thought maybe doing that like a, a night camp. Yeah, like video where I camp out here, and then I came to my senses, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not interested in doing that, but, um, yeah, people can't wait to come in here and the, 
And then they're like surprised when they hear about how notorious this place is. Now granted they don't find as many bodies as they used to, but they still find stuff here. Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff that isn't even reported, you know? So um, it's hard to say. But if you haven't seen Devil's Well Part 1 and 2, go watch it. Absolutely. It's about a guy, uh, his name is Vashon Conyers, who they found in the bottom of a sewer. Um, and I was there the day that they found him. And uh, that's kind of started it for me. I was like... He had been bludgeoned and set on fire uh, and then thrown into a sewer. I, I can't imagine. Oh my gosh. A monster. And it's still a cold case, so whoever did it still wandering still around. Still out there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not exactly um, Yosemite. <laughs> <laughs> There's a deer. Bambi. They're crossing the road. Stopped over here, there's this old brewery here, towering above us. It's the big smokestack there. Whoop! Comes the car. Get out of the way. There's these just big piles of rubble. Oh yeah, there's more, there's a lot more cars coming. I'm gonna step aside here. And look back in here. There's just like a random boat back here. It's like a little cobblestone area. Don't know if this was like an indoor area at one point. And uh, let's take a look at this boat. You see the boat's been graffito tagged. But yeah, just someone like just abandoned their boat back here. I don't know if they just didn't want a boat anymore. What's that they say? The best two days of owning a boat are that are buying it and the day you get rid of it. Maybe someone wanted to get rid of their boat and just dumped it back here in uh, abandoned alleys of, uh, of Baltimore. Oh, look at that. There's a roll of toilet paper right there. Is this the bathroom of the boat? Oh yeah, look at that, there's a toilet in the boat. Are you kidding? Yeah. This is the bathroom. This is the bathroom it of the boat right here. Yeah, yeah, it's the bathroom. Oh my, oh, look at it. <laughs> this might have been a nice boat at one point. Didn't they have a shower? They have a coat rack. There's no shower, just a bath. Wait, toilet operating instructions. There's instructions on how to work the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, let's try to see if we can actually board the boat. So look, you had a little. Like, oh yeah, this like, is nice. Cubby in there to sleep, and then you had a toilet too. Yeah, the steering wheel there. All right, I'm in. I'm in the boat. You think this thing is seaworthy, Dan? <laughs> um, you know, I would, I would not bet on it, but. <laughs> oh my gosh! You see. Yeah, you gotta be careful. It would probably float, honestly. They probably float. It looks like there's maybe some excrement here on this uh, this padding, so I'm gonna watch out for that. Well, but the yeah. bathroom works. You can steer the boat, and yeah, there's like a little like area here. I guess you could sleep. A little sleeping area. Sure. Hang out well, in the boat there. Boat. Yeah, and here's the, the here's the bathroom. Yeah. Wonder what a wonderful little boat. Oop. I must put my foot there with a there's a hole in the ground there. Be careful of that. Yeah the whoop. Now I try to now I try to dis disembark from this voyage. I love how the boat is like I would be so afraid that it would It's got it. some bounce to it. Yeah. So I'm going to be really careful here. Oh God. Jake. And I'm going to jump down into this pile of broken glass. Oh, there we go. Right, there you go. There we go. Yeah, some 
Well, somebody built broken glass somebody there. Built a fire back here too. Here's a bunch of highlighting highlighter markers. Oh, yeah, someone someone had a little campsite I here. I wonder why they by the the, the boat. So what did this area used to be, Dan? Well, I would assume, looking at that door there, that maybe this was, uh... It's like a courtyard or something? I think it was probably parking for their truck. Okay. Just like a back entrance and I mean, here. We're going back to, there could have been stables here. Stables, like horses? Yeah. You see the cobblestone? Yeah, I noticed the cobblestone. This is probably pretty old. But absolutely, this could have been uh, a stable. Because, I mean, they started making beer here in the 1800s, so... Oh, wow. Some like stairs right there. Yeah, look how tall. Yeah. Look how tall this building is. Yeah. See some light this, coming this through the roof. This also could have been used as a stable or perhaps a machine. It's hard to say. That's one of their barbers. This is a big complex, and a lot of it. Uh, the city had stored like street signs in here yeah. and stuff. Um, but a lot of the building is inaccessible because it's just falling apart. Yeah. There was in the in the next to the elevator shaft is an escape uh, thing. So you can go up these little narrow steps. I started going up there and she said, Get down from there, like, kill yourself. <laughs> I see, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> A little bit of furniture. A couch back there. Yeah, you can see this is collapsed pretty bad here. Careful now. Yeah, the ground's pretty mushy here. Yeah. And just said there could be needles. You can see the needle cap right there. Oh yeah, you can see there's a significant amount of drug paraphernalia just laying out here on the table. Oh yeah, ouch. What the hell? Is that? This building's on the opposite side of the of the brewery, the brewery peeking up over there. It's wide open here. That sign says, not safe, stay out. That might, might be good advice. Oh, you can see uh, like a deathly puddle right there. See the ceiling collapsing in. See the little Valentine's Day themed graffiti there. Is that like a freezer? Yep. Not a freezer. Refrigerator. Refrigerator? They put beer in here. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna cool it down. This was probably their distribution. Did you see this? Here? Oh yeah, it's like uh, those flaps they'd have in like a refrigerated area. Same thing, very large. Uh, like refrigeration area. Probably the boss's office. Looks like the 
No power related generator. It's paperwork. Well, that this says was a, this was a book. Oh, it says poultry incorporated. So this yeah, is like a poultry. So that fr the refrigerator is probably used to keep chickens, not not beer. So I guess you got beer across the street, chicken over here. Super. Yeah, I guess just like a power rail. This is from 1980. 1980? Yeah. Has it been closed that long? 1980. Yeah, there's these tanks here. Spooky little. <laughs> Spooky? Jesus, this is creepy in there. It's in there. Looks like the devil's throne. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That sign there has been uh, the post of that wall since yeah. June 21st, 1946. Penalty 10 to $100 for smoking in this area. And that's when everyone smoked. What is it with these cars? It's a big, a creepy, creepy space. empty space. <laughs> oh, Lord. Is there like a dry pathway? Yeah, there's these puddles of sludge. Oh, this is a bathroom here. Yeah. You can see the urinal. What is, oh my gosh. This is like a pit. Let's go. So are we going down there? Fuck that. No, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that. Much. Oh, someone left their life jacket here. Just leave that for the boat. Actually, look at all this stuff here. It's like a school box, like a little pencil box. Some pennies in it. Some school supplies and a life jacket. Just kind of random, kind of, hmm. Oh, you see the this root, this tree growing out of the hmm. roof there. You can see the root work. I'm just breaking through the bricks here and then yeah this room we're probably not gonna go in this room here you can see that that it's just like a bottomless pit under the floor there so probably have to skip uh, adventuring in here there's some more kids stuff over here this doesn't look that old yeah look at this like folders school stuff that doesn't even look like wet or waterlogged yeah, this has been left here Fairly recently. I think there's still business in here. So thank you for joining me here today in Baltimore. Maryland. Got a chance to go into some abandoned buildings. It's been quite a while, it feels like. For those of you who've been following my channel since the very beginning, uh, I uh, used to go into a lot more abandoned buildings. Uh, did a lot of abandoned stuff, abandoned houses, abandoned hospitals, abandoned amusement parks, all sorts of abandoned stuff, and uh, did some some dangerous things back in the day. Crawled up a few staircases and ladders that maybe I should definitely have not have done, but kind of day, today brought back uh, brought back some memories of uh, of those times. I don't know if I'm going to be continuing to to, va to visit abandoned buildings. So, yeah, who knows? Maybe here and there I'll throw a little uh, abandoned exploration is, but uh, mostly it was really good to catch up with uh, with Dan Bell, uh, good friend. Uh, 
over the years. He actually reached out to me very early on in my, when my channel was very, very small. Of course, Dan's uh, channel, this is Dan Bell, much bigger than mine, still bigger than mine, uh, but way bigger than mine uh, back in the day when I got started. And he reached out, was very supportive and always very uh, encouraging, uh, you know, at the very beginning of uh, of this channel, and always, you know, always remember that. You always remember the people that uh, that reach out to you um, in the in the very beginning. So, a great time uh, exploring some of the uh, more interesting areas of Baltimore, Maryland, with uh, with Dan Bell. Now, as uh, for where we're going on this trip, um, I think I'm headed south again. I think I'm headed southward. Um, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out in the morning. I'll come up with something tonight, and then we'll head in some sort of direction tomorrow. But uh, I want to thank everyone out there for watching this video. Uh, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun random stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing on Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. And of course, all that goes to help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's in the bag.